So Pilot has been a tenant of the Maven portfolio since I started. Um, Pilot is led by an incredibly top-notch team. This is a group that has done it before, right? They delineated a large gold deposit in Nevada and they sold it and produced some really great gains, um, really in incredible returns for shareholders. And now they're doing it again. They have another project in Nevada that where they're following a similar process of looking into new geologic ideas. And then they have some really interesting large assets in Turkey um, that all together these projects are going to create a lot of news flow and hold a lot of value. So with that, say hi to Patrick. Thanks very much, Gwen. It's great to be here on a beautiful sunny day, especially with the caliber of companies that are also presented today. And uh, I personally own shares in a bunch of these companies, so it's uh, gratifying to know that we're all in the same boat and uh, quality stands out. So you may be looking at the screen here and going, what does surfing have to do with mining or with gold? And we use this as simply as a metaphor that if you took a scientific approach to find the best possible waves to go surfing on and you looked at 35,000 miles of coastlines and looked at tides and prevailing winds and oceanography and seabed floors. It might take you to the north end of Maui where everybody else is surfing or conversely that science might take you to Iceland where nobody else is. And it's that same metaphor and that same science tape based approach that we use as either frontier gold or as pilot gold today to uncover big deposits that can make shareholders a lot of money. It took us into Turkey in 2004 as an early adopter and early entrance in, into that country. And in fact, took us into the eastern part of Nevada where we delineated two and a half million ounces and ultimately sold that project called Long Canyon to Newmont for 2.3 billion. I draw your attention to the forward looking statements because we are making projections on how we plan to uh, move our projects forward. So please do have a, a look at that at your leisure. But I thought I'd kick off a little bit, uh, a couple slides kicking, uh, building off of what Gwen talked about because this really encapsulates where Pilot Gold sits in this continuum where we think we can add a lot of value. If you look at on the chart here, you've got five of the major companies. And what you see here from 2013 through 2014 is that all of them have dropping reserves. And this is not due to uh, a write down of reserves based on the metal price dropping, but rather these are reserves that are dropping because they're selling assets, they're divesting of projects or in fact they're depleting their mines. They're not adding any new resources, they're not adding any new reserves. And as you can kind of see in the quote there, the reasons for declining reserves are no secret. Gold miners eat away at reserves through mining. The industry is focused on cost cuts by disposing assets and not through growth or discovery. In a bear market for miners, major gold producers have become shy of acquisitions and misers of exploration spending. Meantime, the rate of deposit discoveries amidst a pervasive drought in financing for junior explorers has been as slow as ever. This is a great chart that came out of Gold Corp's most recent presentation. And on the left-hand side here, you see expiration spending and discovery. And you can see that there was a peak discovery of ounces back in 1995. And the red line, you can see, see the expiration spending going on. Since then, the red line continues to track higher up until 2010, 2011. But the rate of discoveries continues to fall. And subsequently, over the last three years, as the majors have focused more on cost cutting, the first spot that gets cut is expiration. And you can see the expiration expenditures continues to fall. Fast forward from that peak discovery in 1995 to 2015, and you actually have peak production. So all the majors are projecting is that lower and lower gold, amounts of gold will be produced over the subsequent uh, number of years. So less expiration dollars from the majors, smaller expiration budgets available for the junior miners, there's a huge gap for us to fill. And this is where we think Pilot really helps to stand out, is delivering shovel-ready projects that can fill that gap for the majors. So these would be projects that e we'd either build ourselves or would get bought out in the meantime. So we're very early on in the discovery phase where we can add the most amount of value for the most disciplined exposure of capital. Lever and our exploration development capital markets will be able to continually advance these projects despite the nuclear winter of finance and put uh, new catalysts on the board in terms of 43 101s, resources, and PEAs. We have three key assets. In Turkey, we have Halilaga, or Halila in Turkish, TV Tower. Both are joint ventures with Tech. We are the operator in control on TV Tower, and Tech is the operator and controller on Halila. 
and in Kinsley Mountain in eastern Nevada, where we also have another 14 projects. So let's kick off in terms of how we're going to unlock that potential and how we're going to bridge the gap. So jumping into Nevada, obviously it's been a, a great jurisdiction, one of the top ones globally, especially when you look at <coughs> areas like the Carlin Trend, which has produced roughly 30 million ounces over the last 25 to 30 years. It's amazing that you can have a district here that has been around and being the, the silver state, in fact, had exploration success in mining for 100 years, yet you're still able to go out and make new discoveries. And that's exactly what we did when we went to eastern Nevada and took a different geologic model and delineated over to about a two-year period, two and a half million ounces at Long Canyon. That became a very valuable property because it was near surface, it was outcropping, it was oxide gold, it was high grade, it was three miles off at interstate. And how, you know, how many senior geologists of the majors drove by on that I-80 from Salt Lake out to Elko and drove right past that deposit. When we sold that to Newmont, it was 2.2 million ounces. We have a couple of spies within Newmont. They've roughly tripled that resource uh, since they bought it, and they're now pushing that into uh, construction or breaking ground this month. So it's an incredibly uh, fantastic jurisdiction, and we're taking that same model that we use at Long Canyon and are deploying that uh, just down the road at Kinsey Mountain. When we had a lot of success at Long Canyon, we'll search all throughout the northeast area of the state looking for more Long Canyons. And one of the top projects that was on our list was Kinsley Mountain. It lies in the same host rocks, and we felt that we could use the same geologic model, put the same technical team on the ground there, we could make similar sort of discoveries. So we own 80% of this. It's a Carlin-type system, very similar to obviously the, your Carlin uh, deposits in central Nevada. And last year, in 2014, we made a significant high-grade discoveries below the sequences validating that our model from Long Canyon is working here. You can see some of, the, some of the intercepts here of anywhere from 6 to 10 grams running over 40 to 50 plus meters. We've secured all the water rights in the basins to run roughly the same size and mid-size heat bleach project. We've been pushing this through all the metallurgy studies, both the sulfides and the oxides. And we have gold mineralization that extends roughly over a 12 kilometer long range. Kinsey itself was a past producer. It produced 140,000 ounces in the, in the late 1990s. And it was based on a model where Alta Gold was really just scraping up the oxide that was at surface. Our model at Long Canyon said if you go below this one uh, sequence, go through this barren dolomite block, you can find high grades and a new whole sequence, and that's what we were able to find in 2014. Interestingly, when you say sulfide, and you say that in conjunction with Nevada, people automatically think you've got refractory and you need a roaster, you need an autoclave. So we pulled in the best of the best. We pulled in uh, Gary Simmons, who's Newmont's head metallurgist, he ran full studies on this, and this is a paradigm-changing uh, metallurgy result that came out of here. And what it finds is that this sulfide ore, you can actually float it, so put it into a concentrator or a mill, run a CIL circuit on the back, and we can get up to 95% recoveries and produce a concentrate that's up to 300 grams per ton or 10 ounces per ton. Very clean. We can send it right off to uh, Salt Lake. Our other projects are in Turkey, and in fact, we're in far western Turkey. Uh, over by the Gallipoli Peninsula. For those of you who don't know, Turkey is Europe's largest gold producer. It produces roughly about a million ounces last year. It's home to El Dorado Gold's most profitable mines, the Kishlada mine and Ethem Chukru mine, and also a top producer, one of the lowest cost producers in the globe there, Alistair Gold, which is TSX listed as well. We've been in Turkey since 2004. We signed an earning deal and took the Ada and Karazi projects that are now with Alamos. We took those from 300,000 ounces to 3.5 million ounces and jointly sold those to Alamos with Tech and subsequently discovered the Halila Gold Copper Porphyry and put together the TV Tower properties. Zooming in, and why do we like Turkey, especially Western Turkey? You can drive a Toyota Corolla right up to outcropping gold and copper that has never been drilled. So it's a fantastic geologic environment, but it's got fantastic infrastructure. You have power plants, you have silica mines, clay mines, coal mines, four-lane paved state highways, your low elevation, you have deep water ports within an hour's drive of your projects. Infrastructure-wise, it just doesn't get any better than this. What we feel here and what we're trying to build off is target scale or district scale. On the left-hand side here is TV Tower. This is where we're spending most of our focus uh, this year in Turkey, and mostly on the southern areas. They're drilling off two brand-new gold and copper discoveries that we made last year in Porphyries. Uh, last year, we delineated Turkey's third largest silver deposit in the north with about 1.5 million ounces gold equivalent there, 38 million ounces of silver. And as you can see, it compares comparable to some of the biggest systems around the world. This whole district from Ada out to TV Tower 
uh, over the last 10 years has gone from virtually zero gold endowment to roughly 17 million ounces gold equivalent. It's one of the fastest growing regions. We have 90 square kilometers on TV tower. Uh, we have tech funding 40% of all our expenditures. So as Gwen said, capital preservation is key. And we just completed the, the $21 million earn in through 2014. Our other key project here is TV t is Halila or Halilaga. This is a joint venture as well with Tech Resources. Tech is the operator, but we've been really been driving this from the back seat. We're at 40 percent. Tech is at 60 percent, and we've just revised uh, a new PEA to reflect the capital markets uh, and the constraint on capital. So, just two months ago, we reissued reissued a preliminary economic assessment, which showed a project that over 14 years will produce 805 million dollars or so after tax. Majority of that is coming up front in the first three years. That's what drives that payback. Initial CapEx is $350 million, and again, paying that all back in 1.3 years. And importantly, your after-tax IRR, your rate of return here, 43%. This is top notch. This is probably one of the best projects that has come out in the last couple of years in terms of IRR and payback. Yet, for the most part, it's got better economics than anything in tax balance sheet or in their pipeline, but it's too small. So given that tech is very committed into their Fort Hills oil, uh, oil projects up in uh, Alberta and amount of debt, this is a project that they will be looking to monetize. So there will be some significant catalysts up coming on here. So for uh, the rest of 2015, we have roughly 35,000 meters of, of drilling on the docket between TV Tower and Kinsey Mountain. We feel this is a, a great opportunity to unlock some significant value with a transaction of some sort on Halila with our joint venture partner tech. And ultimately, we've got $18 million in cash to be able to push these forward. Very strong registry. Our two largest shareholders are Newmont Mining and Tech Resources. Uh, the typical who's who of New York and Toronto. And overall management owns about 10%. Strong analyst following here as well, most recently with uh, Macquarie adding on. So at that point, uh, my 10 minutes is up. I will pass the, the floor back to Gwen. If you have any questions, I would be happy to talk to you at the table. Thanks very much. Thank mm -hmm. you.